welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use this Google Sheets annual budget spreadsheet. It's available for purchase on my Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the description down below. You can also continue watching the video and maybe get inspired and build your own template. So let's get into it. The first sheet you're going to see is the income savings and debt payment sheet. What you're going to do is you're going to start by entering the current year. Next, you're going to set your income sources, your savings accounts, and your pending debt payments right here. Then you're going to enter the expected amounts for each month. So I will quickly fill this out so we can continue. It will only be working with three months, so you can get, just get an idea. So once you do that, you can see totals have been added up here. So you have the total income, you have the savings, and then you had debt payments right here. So this continues for the entire year. And as the year progresses, you're going to start writing down your actual amounts, how much you actually made. So let's see, let's fill it out. So now I filled out the actual columns. And as you can see, totals have added up here as well. If you scroll all the way to the right, you're going to see that totals added up for the entire year. So you expected this much money as an income and you actually made this much money. The actual amounts are going to build this graph right here. So we have for our paychecks 67% and for our Shopify store 32%. The same thing is going to happen below. You are going to get graphs for each section for the actual amounts that added up throughout the entire year. This is useful because you have a single view of your income, savings, and debt payments throughout the entire year, separated monthly. So you don't have to go back to a monthly spreadsheet, change it there, and then go to a different sheet and see how it updated and compare it throughout the entire year. So right here you have everything together, which I find really useful. So then you have your annual expenses. So the first thing you do is you're going to write down your expense categories right here. So if you have duplicates, it's going to highlight in red. So each one has to be unique. So you're going to write down your expense categories and then you're going to write down your budget, your expected amount for each month. Right here, this table is exactly the same as this table right here. So that way, no matter what sheet you're in, you can know what's going on yearly as a summary up there. So what you do is you're going to start writing down your budget for each of those categories. So I'm going to do that. So now that I filled out these three months, you can see that the expected amounts updated the total right here, but the actual amount is empty. So this is where it gets awesome. So you don't have to edit anything right here because the actual amounts are automated and they're going to be pulled from individual monthly expense sheets right here. So whatever you enter on these sheets is going to automatically update the actual amounts right here. It's going to summarize by expense category. So if you went grocery shopping three times that month, you can write down in your monthly expense sheet grocery shopping as three separate expenses and it's going to get added up and it's going to automatically show up here. So let's do that groceries example. So we're going to go to our January sheet. You can also go to that sheet by clicking right here, this link. So the first we're going to do is entering the day of the month, the day, and the date is going to automatically get built right here. So let's say we went grocery shopping for 123 and 45. So right here, as you can see, an error showed up. That means that you haven't selected an expense category right here. That same error is going to show up right here. So if you ever don't select an expense category, it's going to show up like that. So let's do groceries. As you can see, a list, a drop down list, is built with elements that you entered right here. So whatever you enter here, let's say, okay, whatever you enter here, it's going to build a drop down right here. So we have groceries, and now let's do groceries and groceries. So the three amounts added up to $168. And if you go back here, you can see that your actual amount for groceries is $168. That's your total. And the total was automatically pulled into this table as well as this table right here. Now this sheet has this section right here that is going to summarize everything you enter here and add totals up by expense category. You can then sort them by amount spent or by the expense category. 
So let's add a few more. Let's do. So as you can see, this table is summarized right here, grouping everything together by expense category. You can sort it by expense category or by amount spent. It also shows the percentage assigned to each expense category. So 59% of your expenses for this month went to groceries. Now the total expense amount is 283. And if you go back to the annual expenses, you're going to see 283. 283 and this updated automatically. So the same thing goes for every single monthly sheet. You jump into the sheet, start writing down your monthly expenses, and then you go back to the annual summary and everything will show up in the actual columns. So if you move all the way to the right, you're going to see that totals were added up for each expense category. And then this table was built. This table is going to show annual actual expenses ordered from highest amount to lowest amount. And finally, we're moving on to the annual overview. So right here, everything on the entire spreadsheet is going to come together into this sheet and show you an overview of both actual and expected amounts. So right here, you have the totals table. So this table is going to join absolutely everything together and this is your entire year's summary. So this is how much you expected to make, this is how much you actually made, and this is the difference. Whenever it's a good difference, it's going to turn green. It's good that you made more money than you expected, so it's green. And then right here, you have your expected expenses and then your actual expenses. So you spent a lot less than you expected, and even though it's a negative number, it is green because it's good. It's good that you spend less than you expected to. And right here, this is going to show you how much money you have left after your expenses. So the only thing it does is income minus expenses. So these two amounts add up to 100%. Now you move on to savings, both expected and actual, debt payment, expected and actual, and how much money you have left out of your income once you subtract expenses, savings, and debt payment. This is money that didn't go into expenses, wasn't assigned to a savings account, and wasn't used to pay any debts. So this percentage is right here, expenses, savings, debt payments, and amount left add up to 100%, which is 100% of the income. Now, each month has a table that looks exactly like this. It does the exact same thing, it only does it monthly, and this one adds up the entire year. With this table, these two graphs are also built. So this graph shows how you're distributing your income, which is pretty much expenses, savings, debt payment, and amount left for actual, actual amounts. And this table shows a comparison between actual and expected amounts for income expenses, savings, debt payment, and amount left. Now, if you scroll to the right, you're going to see rankings. So what this does is that for each of these categories, it's going to order every month from highest to lowest amount. So this is a month that you made more money, that you saved more money, that you paid more debt, and that you spent more money. This looks like this. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I'm going to give you an overview. It's really important to mention that the expenses are pretty much unlimited. You, If you, for some reason, need a thousand more rows, you can just add them and the formulas are going to adapt to that. So you don't have to worry about it. You just add them at the very bottom and it's going to work just fine. The same goes for the monthly expenses section. So it's pretty much unlimited. I wanted this to be flexible and not limit you to whatever as many rows I wanted to add. So this is it for the video. I hope you like it. I hope you find it useful. Again, if you want this exact template, you can find it in the description down below. It's available on my Etsy shop. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. It's available in pink right now. I'm going to keep on adding different colors so you can just dive into my store and look for those. Uh, it might take a while, but right now, if you want to get the pink one, you can just change the colors yourself. If you have any questions, need any help, I am available to help you. You can just message me. Uh, on Etsy and I will help you out whatever you need. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like the template and thanks for watching.